our fast and fair vaccine distribution and our sustained progress with COVID-19 metrics tell us we can move forward with easing restrictions if we do it safely. Today, I'm signing an executive order that will continue to ease restrictions in several areas starting this Friday, March 26. Strong safety protocols, including the mask mandate, will remain in place. It'll be as important as ever to stay socially distant and use good judgment. This virus and its more contagious variants are still spreading. We may need to be even more careful as we eat restrictions in that we will likely come into contact with more people when we leave our homes and go into public places. This order will increase maximum occupancy limits in several areas, but importantly, masks and six feet of social distancing still will be required for all of these establishments. And that means that some of them may not be able to reach the maximum occupancy that's allowed by the order. So here are the main changes. Some places will be able to increase capacity up to 100% indoors and outdoors with safety protocols in place. They include museums, aquariums, retail businesses and shops, salons and personal care shops. The new order will allow some places to increase capacity up to 75% indoors and up to 100% outdoors. They include restaurants, breweries, wineries, amusement parks, gyms and pools, and other recreation establishments. Additionally, the new order will allow some places to increase capacity up to 50% indoors and outdoors. That includes bars, conference centers, and reception venues, sports arenas, and other venues for live performances. In addition, effective Friday, we will fully lift the 11 p.m. curfew for on-site alcohol consumption. And finally, the mass gathering limit, which covers other kinds of gatherings that are not laid out in the order, will be increased to 50 indoors and 100 outdoors.